Oh, everybody's fired up. Um, everybody's super excited, uh, especially all the young guys and uh, people who haven't been able to experience, um, you know, a regional here at, at Swayze. Um, Cause you know, us older guys know that it, it gets pretty fun. It's pretty crazy. Um, you know, a lot of people, great environment and uh, you know, we're all pretty fired up for it. Thank you. Ben, go ahead. Yeah, Tim, what was the general reaction from the guys and just the team um, to the draw and to the, to the teams coming into Oxford? Uh, excited. Um, you know, it's postseason baseball. Uh, and, uh, you know, we, we got a couple of good teams coming in and you know, that's how it's always going to be. Um, you know, it's never going to be easy when you're trying to get to Omaha. Um, so, you know, we're ready for ready for those teams to come in and, uh, you know, some good competition. But, you know, we're a really good team as well. Um, so we're ready to get after it. Nick, go ahead. Tim, it's no secret the last year and a half for you has been a up and down one just to get to be able to play in a regional this week. What does it mean for you? Uh, you know, I'm super excited, just like the rest of the guys. Um, yeah, it's been a crazy couple uh, year and a half here. And, um, you know, just with getting canceled last year and just how this year has been uh, kind of a windy road. Um, but, you know, I'm super excited to have some postseason baseball in Swayze and uh, get after it with the boys. Chase, go ahead. Yeah, Tim, you kind of touched on it there, but the way last season ended, not getting a postseason, does it, does it seem like it took forever to kind of get here? I mean, does it mean a good bit more just to finally get to this point after so much waiting? Yeah, I mean, it, it feels great to get back here. Um, you know, it kind of was an abrupt halt last year, and, um, you know, we had a good team last year, and we were hoping to be kind of in the position we are this year, last year. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's really great to just be able to have some postseason baseball here, and, uh, you know, we're super excited for it. Pesh. Hey, uh, along those lines, Tim, uh, when you guys saw the uh, the pairing uh, on the screen, you saw Southern Miss coming, you saw uh, you guys paired with Arizona. What, what was the feeling? Uh, excited. Um, you know, we, we saw we're paired with Arizona and we we're, you know, pretty excited because, uh, you know, we don't really get to travel out there um, during the season. And, uh, you know, and of course, we're, we're ready for our regional and um, like I was saying earlier, you know, we've got some some good teams coming in, but, you know, we're a good team as well. Um, so I think it's a good uh, good matchup for us, and, uh, you know, we're going to be ready come this weekend. You guys usually uh, play Southern Miss during the regular season, but didn't this year. Uh, do you know much about them at all? Uh, I don't know a whole lot. Um, kind of just been focused on uh, the guys we've been playing. Um, but, you know, based on their record and um, the, the little things that I have heard, you know, they're a good team. And, uh you know, so are the other teams in our regional and so are the other teams in the rest of the tournament. Um, so, you know, we're, we're ready to play them and um, ready to move forward and, um, you know, just play our game each every game. Ben? Tim, I know you get asked this pretty much every time we sit down with you, but how are you feeling? You just spent a week, week in the starting lineup every single game. So how are you feeling now? And is, is it just kind of a pain tolerance thing for you at this point forward? Yeah, I feel good. Um, you know, I really just kind of had that, you know, one little incident against Vanderbilt, um, but, uh, you know, feel good and um, just need a little time after that. And, uh, you know, I'm ready to go again. Nick. Tim, I know you're from a completely different part of Florida than Tallahassee, but just how familiar are you with Florida State's roster? you have any teammates or friends from travel ball over there? Yeah, I do know. I do know some of the guys there in Florida State, um, a couple of good friends on that team. Um, so it'll be fun to play them. Which guys? Uh, I know Connor Grady. Um, I know Matt Nelson. I've heard of him. He's uh, one of JB's really good friends. Um, kind of going blank now, but I know a couple of the other guys on that team as well. Robbie Martin. I just remembered. <laughs> hey. Hey, Tim, uh, you guys just kind of stacked good pitching performances one on top of another throughout the week last week. What did you see from those guys, those pitchers, that uh, that we weren't seeing in the regular season? Um, you know, I think it was just good to see them come out and compete like they did. Um, you know, I think that the a couple of times before, they might not have had their best stuff, um, maybe not have been as confident in themselves. And I think that them going into that SC tournament and – filling up the strike zone, having a lot of confidence, um, believing in themselves and us as a team. Um, that was huge for us. 
Uh, and I think that that's really going to bring our team together as a complete team, um, you know, pitching and offense. And uh, that was really, really good for us heading into the postseason. Chris. Then well, last week you had a couple accolades come your way. What does it mean for you personally to be named both the SEC Scholar Athlete of the Year and selected to the All Tournament team last week? Uh, it was exciting, but um, you know I'm more excited about what we're about to do here in the postseason. And um, you know that is cool for me, but um, you know I'm kind of more worried about our team and um, what we're about to match up with in our regional and moving forward. Um, so I'm more excited about that than I am about those things. Great, thank you. All right, thank you, Tim. Thanks, guys. Questions for Doug. Ben? Doug, same thing I asked him, man. What did the team, um, in your response, just overall, what was the general reaction to um, the field and the teams coming into Oxford? Oh, well, it was just really exciting. For us. I mean, for me, I think a lot of those teams that are coming in, you know, they're really good talent. And I just, I love, to, I love, and competition and, the, and like these good teams rolling in. I never want it to be easy. We just want to like play good teams. So we're, I'm excited. And I think the overall vibe was really good when we got a bunch of good teams coming in. John. Hey, Doug, uh, I know you pitched on a little bit of a little bit of shorter rest than you were used to. How how were you kind of following that body wise? How are you feeling and how are you feeling heading into uh, postseason play? Uh, the body feels really good. Um, that short, the short rest for me really ended up being one of those sort of outings for me that I felt a little bit crisper because it was less time in between in between outings. So I felt really crisp and sharp when I was on the mound. And um, when you feel like that, then you know you're you really don't start. You really can't even really think that much about your body. But um, now uh, with more time to look at look after it, like I feel great and. Um, and now I'm excited that I have this uh, long period of time before the next outing. So a lot of good, a lot of good recovery time for the body heading into postseason. And uh, a quick follow up: What did you think of the rest of the pitching staff's work in the SEC tournament? I mean, you guys only allowed, I think it was 13 runs in, in five days, really pitching well. What did you think of those other guys' performances? And, and do you think that can carry over for them from your perspective into uh, postseason play? Yeah, well, for like for Drew and for Derek, I mean, I think it's just something that it, it's really special and it's something that we expect from them. And um, it's just cool for them to do on a stage like that, especially when they have like when you're in the SEC tournament. And I think that's really a time for a lot of pitchers. And it seems like every year that step up and start doing stuff that we know they, that they typically do and they start doing it on that bigger stage. And for the other guys, I mean, I think it just shows something that we all already knew, which was that we are a really deep bullpen. And I think that's something that's going to come in really huge in these next couple of weeks. So, Thanks. Nick. Doug, you've been through the, the regional process before. Just how do you feel differently as a pitcher than you did two years ago when you were preparing for this for the first time? Yeah, it feels like an eternity ago, but we're finally back here. And um, the preparation, I man, I don't even remember what I did before last time. Just kind of, I feel like I just treated it the same exact way that I would treat everything else. And um, um, but you know, obviously a little bit more heightened um, like energy. So um, learning to harness that, and then the preparation is always going to be the same. You know, getting the scouting report, making sure that I know what I'm doing, have a game plan, execute the game plan, and most importantly, just get out. So um, all that factored in, I kind of. I think it's pretty similar, just with uh, maybe a jersey you're not familiar with seeing as much. So, Last time you had Will to kind of help you through it, now you're kind of the veteran who's going to have to help Drew and Derek through. Just what are you doing to kind of tell those guys what to expect? Well, um, we, get a, we get a good start. We get to play here at Swayze. So uh, they know what to expect when we play here at Swayze. Um, I think um, once, we, once we go on the road, then that's – 
something that I, I'll probably that we'll have, like talk about them. But I think they're very familiar with Swayze and they know what kind of energy that they're going to bring, especially this weekend. So I think they're just more excited at this point, and I'm just as excited as they are too. Harris. Hey, uh, Doug, you mentioned that the SEC tournament is sometimes a time that guys step up and perform differently and, and, and kind of elevate. Uh, does the park come into that with pitchers? I mean, is it, is it, a, little, uh, is it a little easier to pitch there because of uh, just a bigger place? Um, maybe not as much. I guess I learned that the hard way in my first <laughs> – the first guy that I faced. But um, I think I, – you know, I think it plays like a normal ballpark. Um, whether it be day or night, I think the wind was uh, gushing out one day, but I mean, um, you know, it, it, no, I don't, I don't, I, th I don't really think I think too much about the ballpark. I think really it might be the heat. Uh, I know for some guys that's a factor, um, but it really wasn't even that hot this year, actually. So, you know, I think it's just getting innings under your belt and guys get to this stage and I think they finally get there and they're like, well, now it's my time to step up and I'm ready and I'm ready for it. And they have that confidence, that built in confidence. So. Thanks. Chase. Yeah, Doug, just uh, I, I guess nobody asked this. Do you know if you're getting the ball Friday or not? Uh, no, not sure yet. I'm sure we'll have that conversation eventually, but n not entirely sure yet, no. Ellie? Doug, I know you guys aren't opening up against them, but just what was the reaction to seeing Southern Miss make your guys regional tournament and just have them in there as another team in the state? Well, I mean, they're they're a good team. Um, I think the same thing Tim said. It's kind of the same vibe that I got, which is we don't we didn't really get the opportunity to play them this year, so we don't really know too much about them. But obviously, there's history there um, for us and for me only in 2019. But of course the many years playing against them in the state of Mississippi, there's history there. Um, but we feed off that. We love that. And I think when we saw that, I think a lot of the guys on the team were pretty excited that, um, you know, they'll bring some great fans as well. So then we, it'll just create a better environment. So. Nick. Doug, same question I asked Tim, but how familiar are you with some of the guys on Florida state's roster being from being from down there? Yeah, um, I, I know a handful of guys on the team. I know that um, me and Matt Nelson, uh, so me, Justin Bench, and Matt Nelson all played on a summer baseball team together growing up. I actually threw to Matt all the time. I love throwing to him, but um, um, now I get to throw to him with a bat in his hand. So a little bit different, uh, but, or I guess I don't know if I'm throwing, but we will. Um, but it's exciting to play those guys. Uh, I know Robbie Martin, familiar growing up with him. And then, of course, Elijah Cabell. Um, he swings a big stick. I know all those guys uh, from Florida grew up playing ball against them or with them. So excited to see those guys rolling to town too. All right. Thank you, Doug. All right. Thanks guys. All right, we'll start with John. Hey, Mike, what was your kind of reaction to, uh, you know, to the field and, and what do you think of it and all of the teams in the Oxford Regional? Well, you know, uh, you know, one, just proud of our guys, you know, to host the uh, uh, Red Sims, uh, you know, tweet the other day uh, you know, the, for the 10th time in, I think, uh, 16 years. Uh, so quite an accomplish accomplishment for our guys. And, uh, as far as the field, we're still learning, you know, Southeast Missouri, uh, obviously a you know, very good four seed, uh, conference, uh, pitcher of the year, conference champion, uh, team that's, you know, uh, played Arkansas and, and others and you know, had a terrific, uh, terrific year, obviously Southern Miss, uh, because we didn't play Southern this year, we don't know as much about them, but, you know, you know, reading, you know, over the course of the year, you know, they pitched it great Florida state, the same. And, you know, might have the Golden Spikes Award, you know, uh, 
winner, you know, on their team as well. So uh, just a really, really good field, really competitive. Um, and uh, I think the thing that stands out is, you know, all three teams really, really pitch it. And uh, a quick follow-up. I know, obviously, you know, the opponent, the, the first day, do you kind of know um, who you're going to throw each day out there now, or are you still working that out? Yeah, we're still, we just, like you, we, we heard, you know, less than an hour ago. And so uh, I think it, uh, you know, wouldn't be smart, you know, to, to, to rush to uh, figure that out quite yet, you know, uh, with, with Derek and uh, Drew and, and Doug throwing so early in the week and, all of them, regardless of what day they throw, you know, would have plenty of rest. Uh, I, I don't think it's critical. You know, we'll, we'll decide, uh, you know, this evening uh, at some point uh, because, you know, the guy that throws Friday is going to throw a bullpen tomorrow. Thank you. You're welcome. Pesh. Mike, uh, is this the first time you, you haven't uh, fed the media chicken tenders on the, on the selection show? To, is, is, I think it's first. Uh, it, uh, it probably is. It yeah, probably it, it, is. it probably is. I'm sorry we missed you. With, with the tournament not playing last year, I mean, you know, you guys uh, have gone through a lot of selection shows. The program has in its history. But with the tournament not playing last year, what was there a different uh, feeling when you guys saw the regional come up? Was there a different murmur? I mean, what, what were the players like? I, I don't think so. I, I think they're anxious to see, you know, who they play, you know, like everyone. But, you know, I, I, I didn't feel that in the room. I think, you know, they're excited. And one of the things that, uh, you know, this team, this group, because every every team's different, as you know, Paris, but th this team's, you know, has this unique feel about it, vibe about it, where uh, there's there's a subtle confidence in them. There's uh, they just love to play. And, uh, you know, so I, I don't think it's was a lot of drama to it. If, you know, that's what we're alluding to or trying to get to, I think, you know, they're, they were anxious to see who the opponent was, but then after that, I actually had to tell them to, you know, stop talking, you know, they, uh, they're talking throughout the thing and, you know, I'm trying to listen to the, the comments and the, the brackets and, um, uh, but, uh, but good for them. They're, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're worried about what's in their dugout, which is a good thing. Yep. Well, why did the regular season game uh, that you guys usually play with Southern, why did that not make this year? Um, because of COVID, you know, we, we tried to eliminate as many um, uh, away games as possible or games away, even though those are neutral site games, um, you know, trying to uh, a decision that we made, you know, as a, as a program and as an athletic department, uh, as the schedule is getting closer and closer, you know, trying to, you know, uh, eliminate midweek bus trips and, you know, going down, you know, and at, at that point didn't know, uh, you know, where we were going to get through. I mean, there was a lot of comments, I think, uh, you know, just in the selection show, the SEC tournament, kind of a relief for everyone to get to this point. Now we're not there yet. I mean, you know, we, we still, uh, you know, a uh, few weeks away from, you know, the you know, season to get to Omaha and then, you know, crown a national champion. Uh, but I think, you know, when this decision was made, everybody was holding their breath trying to get through. Conferences were trying to decide, are they going to play conference only? Uh, are you going to play four games? All those things were up in the air. And then I think as, you know, as a, as a program and as administration, we made the choice. Um, but Southern, now that I'm talking so much, Southern, uh, I, if I, you might have to ask Scott this, uh, but I think, they, they had an issue because we were scheduled to play them Easter week. And I think they went, if I'm not sure, Conference USA to four games. And so they would have to play a day earlier. So it was going to be impossible to, for them to play on that week. Nick? Obviously, everybody has some familiarity with Southern Miss and Florida State. They're, they're big baseball names. Just what do you do with a team that they know the draws probably tougher on name brand than some they might be used to, but they're all still, still getting ready to play baseball. Is that tougher at all when the names are bigger or do you, do you treat it the same way? Uh, you're, you're talking about from our standpoint, Nick? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think the names mean anything. I think when you get to this point, and I don't mean that, you know, uh, in, in a bad way for anybody, but uh, uh, I think at the end of the day, you know, you, you're trying to figure out, you know, how to attack their pitcher, how to attack their hitters, uh, what they do well, what they don't do as well, and, and so on. So, yeah, um, obviously, 
you know, that this is uh, as good as regional as there is. Yeah, but you hear that from everybody, right? I'm sure if you go around and, and listen to all the press conferences from all the teams, they're going to talk about how difficult their regional is. But um, obviously, the Florida State, I, I think they said 43 consecutive regionals. I mean, that, just think about that for a second. Like that's, uh, I don't know, that's you know, unfathomable in the, you know, this today's age, you know, and, uh, you know, being, being a member of a Power Five conference and what they do every single year. Of course, Southern Miss, we, we know well about them and what Scott's done there and just a tremendous job. So um, just, a, just a really good field. And, I, and again, I think that's what we do the next couple of days is really try to prepare, you know, and, you know, push the names to the side, start looking at the players, start looking at swings, start looking at your know, pitchers and, and, and so on. Have you gotten a chance to scout at all, or has it just been the first hour you're just trying to get all your eggs in a row? No, I just got the stats printed, uh, you know, half an hour ago. So, you know, when they came up, uh, you know, I, I got the stats. So uh, I know they got a really good pitcher pitching, you know, I would imagine on Friday night. So, Anything else? Hmm. All right. Thank you, everyone. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you.